three reasons you know, bands have problems, right? And it's money, women, and drugs. Why did you break up? Oh, uh, you know, there we are three. You broke, broke up, up really. no, we just apart. stopped playing. We just stopped working yeah. together for a while and it sort of dissipated. You know, everything has a, has, a, has a shelf life, I suppose. And the last album, Heart Like a Sky, you know, wasn't the most fun to make, probably wasn't the best thing we ever did. And uh, Do you agree? Yeah, yeah. 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 Look, you know, so it just fell apart a bit. I mean, in a way, it was, it was difficult because there wasn't a, an end or a big fight or anything. It just sort of filtered away a bit, which was were, difficult to handle. I think there are various <coughs> facets, you know, that, that one, the decade was coming to an end. I think that made a big impression, not just on us, but on a record buying public. Two, there was the whole DJ culture was be becoming enormous. The Summer of Love had happened, and we were beginning to feel like, you know, something from the past already. And, and I think probably, you know, you know, getting, you know, frustrated, doing the same stuff, being with each other endlessly. You know, I, as a songwriter, I was finding all kinds of, you know, paranoid problems about my own work. And, uh, and it Can was time to give it, no, I can't be any more specific to that. You're not my therapist. Uh, <laughs> but um, yeah. I, uh, I think, you know, it was probably, like as John said, a sort of a, a feeling of sell-by date had been reached. Yeah. Um, I, I don't have any regrets because the story of Spandau Ballet has now come back and and, it, and I think it's, it's succeeded now more than ever because we didn't dribble through the 90s trying to, to make things work when it would have been much more difficult for us. I, I read somewhere a rumour about some sort of court case. Was it true? A rumour? <laughs> <laughs> no, it was, it was, it was more than a rumour, actually. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's in nine million pages if you want to go and read it. Get on the internet. How do you look back on that now? Because I think the two of you... Yeah, it was ugly. Look, it, it, was a, it was a bad time for everyone. No one, no one enjoyed it, you know. <laughs> Win, lose or draw, it wasn't much fun. But hey, th there's nothing we can do about that. It's gone now, you know. Part of our yeah. story. There, 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 yeah. are, there are three reasons, <coughs> you know, bands have problems, right? And it's money, women and drugs. And, and I'm glad it was money because that's a renewable resource. And, uh, you know, it's a, we can get some more money, that's fine. I think if we hadn't have gone through that, that bad period, we wouldn't be so close now. It's because of all the sort of up, the ups and downs of the journey that we've kind of, you know, we've solved all those issues. We now have a, a huge respect for each other. That I think if we hadn't gone through something so sort of personal as that, we wouldn't have been so drawn to each other like we are now. Yeah, and I think also part of the public fascination with the band is because they know, you know, our story. The, the, the whole soap opera of Spanel Ballet, where it's, you know, we didn't start in a very conventional way and. And our journey was rather Didn't finish intense. finish in a conventional <laughs> way. Yeah. All of this stuff. <laughs> and, and, you know, when they come to see us on stage, you know, they're, they're, they're getting, you know, there's, mu there's a lot of stuff up on stage. I think it's, it's, I think it's their story as well, in a way, yeah. you know. So it, what has uh, become apparent now with the audiences is, is how much we meant to them, mean to them, not just meant to them. Um, we're pretty sort of touched by that. And, uh, and I think it's because they, they, they must have been upset when we fell out, because it's kind of like that we were their band. And soundtrack uh, to the youth. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. You know, no one wants no one wants the, the, their band fighting with each other. They want to be proud of their band. When did you actually well get on speaking terms again? And it was, it's up, been a gradual process over, <coughs> over a, a good number of years. You know, Steve and Gary got together. I'd, I'd obviously been working with Tony a lot over the intervening twenty years. So, you know, there were factions and then we managed to just pull it together. I mean, a couple of years ago, Gary and I got together for the first time in, in a thousand years. And uh, it, was, it was very good, you know, a little uneasy at first. I don't think either of us knew quite how it would go. But, you know, it, we were both big grown-ups about it and, uh, and gentlemen. And uh, we managed to, you know, pick out the big pieces and try and piece together this band. And, and everyone played their part. Because ultimately, it was about five people wanting to do it. No one could, you know, you can drag the horse to the water, but you can't make them drink. And, and there was a desire. There was a de desire amongst the five of us. Um, you know, it, it wasn't easy, but it was well worth it. It's been, uh, it's been probably the most important part of my life. In These guys meant so much to me, and um, what we experienced was so important. I, I couldn't share that with anybody. My wife, my friends, no one else would understand that. Um, and getting back together in the same room and 
and, and feeling the continuity of our friendship and our experience still carrying on now, um, regardless of actually playing, that was really important and satisfying.